what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm zuff and today we are back with episode two of severance this one is called half loop obviously last episode first episode in the show and boy was it good i uh, very very much enjoyed watching that and have been wanting to continue watching it ever since we watched the last one and uh i don't know i don't know exactly what to expect going into it i feel like i'm gonna have the same feeling going into most of these episodes just because of how weird this show has been so far but main thing obviously mark works at this like weird government building it seems like where uh he works on the severed floor and we learned about what severance is it's like a surgery that you go through to split your work life or like your work memories and your personal memories so essentially like the people that work on the severed floor when they're down there they don't know about anything outside of the workroom and when you're outside you don't know anything about what you do at work so that sounds really scary to me i don't think i'd ever want to do anything like that but it makes for a very interesting show so far and i'm excited to see more of it yeah one thing that i'm like i think is sketchy that i talked about is the fact that since they don't know what they're doing at work they could do anything they want to them at work because like say you have like the worst day ever and they treat you like shit you go up and then you obviously forget what happens then you're just like okay well time to go to work tomorrow and you just go down so you could be you could go down and just absolutely hate your life they could do whatever they want to you treat you however they want and you just don't know that you're going into hell every day only that other side of you does and i feel like we got a preview of that with he like got hit in the head and they lied to him about what happened so they can just say whatever happens at, like at work and then even at the end we saw the woman i forget her name but she's his his boss is his next door neighbor mark and she gave him a look because she seems like she's pretending to be an older woman just like an innocent lady his neighbor but uh she seems like she did not get this severance thing uh pr procedure done on her and She's probably just spying on him or making sure everything's going according to plan. So I don't I don't trust her at all. Yeah, but Petey's back. I feel like he gave Mark a um, card with an address to where Mark can go and get revealed all what Severance is and what they do down there. It's his choice if he wants to go to that address and actually understand what's going on when he, he's down in his other half of his brain but i don't know if he's gonna i feel like he's gonna like i mean there's no doubt and she's i feel like the the boss neighbor is getting kind of sus for sure definitely keeping an eye out on him calling him all the time about the garbage cans and everything seeing what he's doing at all times he's definitely not severed and i feel like he's gonna try to figure out what happened down there in the bottom half and the address holds a lot of information to where and what might be down there all right guys well that's pretty much it before we do get into this episode if you are excited for these severance reactions make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we got our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out and with all that being said we're gonna get right into the episode severance episode two half loop let's do it i am aware that this alteration is comprehensive and irreversible. I make these statements freely. Okay. That's a wrap. Why would Helly want to get the severance procedure done? We learned like that Mark's uh, wife passed away, and that's why he did it. I feel like everyone probably has their own reasons. I love seeing the sunrise on his face. Yo. That's Mark Severance. Three raw eggs and milk <clears throat> Mark Severance? Severance is the procedure. This place is called Lumen. Your mark is just the name of the main character. <laughs> I put a lot together. You put a whole lot of nothing together. <laughs> I love this girl's hair. Does he do it? I think he just does everything. I don't want to see this shit. Ew! They say it doesn't hurt. She awake? Ketamine. Wow. I don't like looking at that shit. 
Dude, she's awake. I'm, 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 I've watched a good bit of Grey's Anatomy. In a lot of like brain surgeries and operations, you have to be awake so that they know that you're like still good. I saw like the one. Wow. They're getting into the sky. I actually like. I cannot physically watch that. It's like I mean, I it's blurred. You can't see that on YouTube. So. Not blurred in my eyes. <laughs> I see the whole thing. They need their picture taken on the operating table. Probably just every like severance patient if they make it past it or not. Mm -hmm. What? Maybe just. I don't know. It's just a little chip in there. It opens up, and she's severed. Oh, this is like dead ass some shit that could happen eventually. I don't even want to think about that. I mean, Elon's already putting chips in people's heads. Like, this could happen. We hope by bringing them here to the stairwell to experience the transition viscerally. It's all part of the process. If you want to spin around and head back in, that should be... Oh, this is whenever Mark, like, led her out and she couldn't go outside. Is it? I think so. It's the same spot. I just think it's, like, maybe him helping her out. You're an inquisitive one. I don't want to be in there, do I? You're learning oh, maybe it is the same thing. I think we're just seeing, like hers and his perspective of like the events of last episode <laughs> so it's really just like you're somewhere and then you just wake up one somewhere else one day down that's terrifying is he severed i don't think so He's the head of the department now. What do they do? Something with data. And PD said that if we he found out, like if Mark found out what they're really doing down there, like he'd be sick. We probably need to be severed to do what they do. Not the best sweeper. I feel like it could be some shit where like these guys are just like test dummies uh, and like maybe it's some shit like the government wants to like eventually putting people and just control everyone see how far they can take it i don't know but i feel like it's very known because the dinner table definitely all knew he was severed they knew what it was but they didn't really no one knows what's happening down here I don't yeah know. they know about the procedure but nobody knows what the severed floor is <clears throat> not even mark does he not know it when he's at work that he's severed I don't know. I feel like they probably do, right? Yeah, probably. A weekend just happened. Yeah. I don't even feel like I left. Yeah, that's how nights and weekends feel here. I find it helps to focus on the effects of sleep since we don't actually get to experience it. And you may feel rejuvenated or happy, less tense in the shoulders. <laughs> they literally, all they do is work. Should I be taking notes? No. I've got it 96% sorted, which means I've earned four of the five tier incentives, including the erasers and the finger traps. That's what they're working for? If we hit our numbers by quarter's end, one of us gets named a finer of the quarter, and that shit gets you a waffle party. Bro, this is the stupidest rewards ever. What about Mark's crystal head cube? That's not a prize, that's just something they gave him. Ellie, could you flip on this console? Why'd they give him that? Mm hmm. Mark is special. I just noticed you removed the group photos from the desk. Yeah, we're going to take the new ones at Ellie's party today. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he wants to have a new photo. I do think the old photos are supposed to stay on the desk until the new ones come in. Okay. Since this perceptual version of you only exists at Lumen, I mean, quitting would effectively end your life, I mean, in so much as you've come to know it. That makes my head hurt. Now, let's get this party started. It's gonna be the worst party ever. Uh, no, just fall today, Earth. Oh my gosh. Oh, right.
Irv is such a strange guy. So what you'll find here is that communication between cells is pretty curtailed. Unfortunately, the elevators are equipped with something called code detectors. <laughs> so messages can't be passed through. Bro, this is not a job. This just can't be a job. This is some kind of weird experiment. Been with Lumen about two years, and I absolutely love this game. You said that last time. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Mark loves it. Does he? I broke protocol this morning. What? The pictures? Thank you for telling me, Mark. I actually find your reaction sweet. Though, it is puzzling you have an outburst like this for Petey and not for, say, Carol D. Carol D? Who is that? Petey was just gone. I don't know if he's got some new job or <laughs> drunk on the beach or dead. That's enough, please. I'm not supposed to think like that. Mark just like shut down completely there. I love melon. I'm a melon advocate. It's okay. I like melon. More of a cantaloupe guy if we're going in that route. I like cantaloupe. Ooh. Ooh. What's Irv do outside of this? Looks like he plays with um black stuff. Hmm. Observant. Yeah, Milchuk's a nice man. When he says something, it's best to listen. I don't care. Because he can't always be nice like that. Okay, we're fine. They say because he can't always be mm -hmm. nice. Uh-oh. He's scared of him. Yeah. You can just tell he's scared of this guy. Say cheer. Cheer. Helly, what are you doing? Oh, I, I just think I'm not going to work here anymore. Uh-oh. I quit. I told you, there's code detectors. Do you know that? Have you tried? Because frankly, it sounds made up. Uh-oh. She's about to learn quickly. Ellie. I mean, I would honestly probably have a similar reaction to this. I'm sure a lot of them did, and they found out quickly you can't do this. Who is this guy? Mr. Greener? Come on out. He looks insane. He looks permanently pissed. If Heli tripped the code detectors, that one is on me. And uh, I apologize for that, sir. Big department chief now, Marcus. Uh, on you, then. So the only reason it set that off is because she had that note on her? Yeah. Hmm. Because then, like, she would wake up as her other self with the note that said, I quit. Yeah. This is Grainer. They were talking about how they didn't like him. That's the name PD mentioned. Look, they're going to do some weird shit to him in here. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be good. Okay. Is it just like solitary confinement or what? Break room. Oh God. So you're a doula. What the hell? What's happening to Mark in there? Severance is subjugation. Asshole. Oh, oh, that's nice language for it. Uh, what, what are you, 12? Are you 12 years old? Are you even in high <laughs> This is such a bad look for him. Yeah, he looks like a jackass. Uh, come on. Ugh. Adam's, it's like, why are, you, uh, why are you even defending it, bro? You don't like it yourself. Just get hammered, then your other self has to deal with the hangover. You're just like super hungover on your way to work. You're like, fuck, I just gotta get in that elevator. Yeah. Fuck. Then the work one wakes up like, what the fuck? I can't even drink. Here, why don't you come in? I have <laughs> milk. Why, thank you. <laughs> yeah. What was she doing in that room? 
I don't know, dude. That was at work. Also, I feel like she put something in these cookies. Looks like just, like, Play-Doh clay. My late husband was a carpenter. And before he passed, he said he would start building us a house in the hereafter. He even drew blueprints, which I keep in my purse. What was that about? I think she likes them. No, what? No, I don't think so. I think it was very, very calculated, whatever she just did. Hmm. The third light bulb. It's a metaphor. It's the third version of himself when he brings himself together. It's a metaphor. <laughs> you put the thing that does the killing between your lips, but you don't let it kill you. Cringe. I actually woke up not feeling terribly well. I'm sorry, I'm just now calling. Very minor stomach event. Should be back tomorrow. I know your Annie will be sad to have missed the day. <laughs> no, he won't. Yeah. He's definitely going to that address, right? Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. I'm not looking to be department chief. Wow. A lot of confidence for a man who once got disciplined for dozing. Sorry. That was... Does he mean just, like, falling asleep? I or so, is that yeah. something... I can't help that I was hired older than you. And they wouldn't have fired him for my note thing, would they? No. No way. He did a stint in the break room yesterday. What was that? What happened? He said he was ill. Did he sound ill? I don't know. He said it was abdominal. You think it, you think it could be the cookie she gave him? Hmm. I think he's not ill. Yeah, he's definitely just faking it so he can go to this address. The erasers are mostly decorative since we don't have pencils. Finger trap is fun as long as you know how to use it safely, but it's really more about what they represent. How far you got in the file. Dude loves his little prizes. He's a prize, man. <laughs> I mean, realistically, that's probably like the coolest thing to him because he doesn't know anything else. Oh, he's falling asleep. That's kind of interesting they can even sleep or like get tired. Maybe on the outside his body was like up doing shit or something. It, it, he said he's he's like, I, it's not my fault I got hired older than you. Like He is just a older guy. Yeah. What if he can't perform his tasks properly? What? That's the intro type thing. I feel like... This might be a bad, like something that could bad happen to you if you're severed. Like, the could you just side effect? Yeah, like just bad shit could happen. No! Bro, this dude's sketchy as hell. I know he frightens me. Was his name Mr. Milchik? And Mark said that he. It's not always nice. Time you spent dozing from your Audi's paycheck. What was it? Like 10 seconds? There's two quotes on the wall, and they were both by the guy that's faces <laughs> upstairs. Like, that dude, like, Lumen. God or something? No, his last name's Egan or something. Mark Severance? Do we even know what we're supposedly cleaning? My theory? The C. Certainly not that. I would probably be in that office all day thinking of what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. Just crazy theories. But I've been reintegrated for two weeks now. I've been mapping out the floor. Oh, the floor they work on? Mm-hmm. I hit the original for you when I left. What? The original? What's the original? I think he probably found a map, like a blueprint. Okay, so what is it that happens down there that's so bad? There's this room. Break room? I'm afraid you're not sorry. Please. I truly am. I'm sorry. Is that Mark? Or Petey? I thought it was Petey and Mr. Milchick. That might be actually Mark. All I can be is sorry, and that is all that I am. I'm afraid you don't mean it. Again, please. 
Oh, God. Fuck is that? <laughs> That's the break room. Break room sounds crazy. You just go there and apologize over and over. I thought it'd been much more crazy. I mean, still psycho. It's odd. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Christopher oh. Walken? Hey, Christopher Walken. The fuck? <laughs> I love that you did the Ambrose cycle in the team building space last quarter. Huh. I've never seen it. It's rare to meet a sophisticate. It's rare! <laughs> Irving? We didn't even get his name, I don't think. Christopher Walken. Hey, I'm walking here. Lumen. We are crazy. What I'd like to do is share with you some facts about your Audi. Oh, God. Because your Audi is an exemplary person. These they can say whatever they want, crazy. though. Yeah, they have no idea if this is the truth or not. Your Audi is fond of music and owns many records. Your Audi is a friend to children. And to the elderly and the insane. The insane? Your Audi is splendid and can swim gracefully and well. This is sick, bro. This is like insane. Please try to enjoy each fact equally and not show preference for any over the others. That's 10 points off. You have 90 points remaining. What? What happens if you get zero points? Your Audi likes the sound of radar. Your Audi is skilled at kissing. Ooh, Irv, I see you. Irving. I feel like they're just saying everything. He's good at everything. Please don't respond to any specific fact. That's 10, That's points. 10 points. off. I was just... Please don't speak further, or all remaining points will be deducted. They're the just trying to, like, numb him out, bro. Like, he's not supposed to react to anything, eventually, probably. Is it just the elevators? What? With the code detectors. Or is it the stairwells too? Jesus, stairwells too. She's really trying to get out of here. I met the O&D department head. Bert? I've met that guy, he's a fuck. You didn't tell him where we are, did you? Bert. <laughs> Bert is not a fuck. And no. I'm Bert is not a fuck. I don't need to tell you. She's gonna start seeing them how she's supposed to. Scary numbers. Oh, dude, it seems so simple, but I just feel like we have no clue what they're actually doing. I feel like no, it's something insane. We don't know. Neither does PD. It's not just moving data into a bin. Like, there's no way. He's watching, bro. He's not home yet. Find your sleeping bag. And you can use the shower. Or he is home. He. Petey's st staying here? Maybe that's why um Mrs. Selvig came over the first time to see if he was here. I mean, if he sees her next door, he's gonna be like, bro, that's not just like your neighbor, that's our boss. You okay in there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. He's gonna collapse. He's bleeding. Probably because he got that operation done. The reintegration sickness. Also happened as he got a phone call. I don't know if that's relevant or not, but... I feel like his head's, like, hurting. Yeah. No. Is he mentally back at work? Oh, he sees himself. The black shit? Okay. 
Is he dead? He looked kind of dead there. Did he just die? I think what the reintegration sickness is, is the, the brain not being able to separate the two different personalities anymore. And I just don't think that the brain's meant to have two people inside of it, which is essentially what the severance operation does. And yeah, PD kind of did look dead at the end there. I think uh, whatever he did to his chip, it just was not probably not the, the way to fix the problem because he just looked like he was in so much pain mm -hmm. and like suffering this episode. But at the same time, he was able to like help out in a way like he has this map of the entire severance floor it looked like there were a couple of question marks i noticed but for the most part he has like the entire floor mapped out and definitely mark is going to be able to to use that to his benefit at some point he also said that he left the original one for mark so i'm expecting like work mark to be able to like find this blueprint at some point and he won't know what to use it for but i'm sure that uh He'll use it for something good. Doesn't give me much hope, though, that if PD died, that these people will ever be free and, like, where they work and, like, their separate lives. I feel like it's just going to have to be like that. I don't know. It's crazy, though. The uh, Heli tried leaving this episode. Obviously, we figured out that you can't leave. They have, like, or bring notes or anything. They have scanners and stuff to block that out there's just so many little things down there that um are insane like the break room the like they you just sit in there because they don't think you're actually saying sorry and you have to keep saying it until whoever feels like you mean it i think probably mr milchak who is terrifying yeah he is very scary he reminds me of someone this whole show just Reminds me of American Horror Story. I feel like this could be one, like a season in it. Because Mark is definitely a spooky character. Or not Mark, uh, Mr. Milchak. I feel like the break room is going to be bigger, going to come back definitely. And we're going to see more of that for sure. Yeah, I feel like like we're just learning more and more about this place. It's just, it seems like foolproof as far as I'm aware because... While Petey did that surgery and was like kind of back to himself, he still has no clue what they were doing down there, which is terrifying. No one knows. They just have theories. I feel like it's going to be a reveal one day and it's going to be like, holy shit, this is what they're doing. I just feel like with the break room, with the wellness check thing, they're just trying to turn these people. I literally think that looking back on that painting, it was like pretty symbolic. I feel like it was like turning, like it was a dude whipping I think it was like turning people to sheep because I, I feel like that's what they're doing down there is turning these people to literal sheep like have like the, like the herd mentality of just like fall in order fall in line do your job don't ask questions don't stimulate a response we saw him getting or getting in trouble for showing emotion yeah like smiling when he heard like a cool fact about himself it's just they're trying to numb these people out and make like literally they're slaves down there that's what they are like they're just work slaves so i don't know it's just i feel like we've only seen like the one side like a l small fraction of what we're gonna eventually see how they're treated because they, we didn't even get to see mark when he went in the break room and we heard the audio recording from uh pd but i just feel like there's so many question marks still about this place and like how far they'll go depending on how f much they act out i'm wondering if they're gonna figure out about this whole pd thing because if he is dead mark has a dead body in his house now so that is something that you have to uh deal with and he's just a normal guy for the most part so also we didn't get to see what mark did in the break room like yeah. was that wasn't a recording of that like she mm -hmm. was just standing at the end of the hallway and she looked very scary um and she definitely knew or she definitely isn't severed i feel like her and mr milchek are both normal in or they're not normal people but they're the same person in each different uh place and she also 
went got invited into his house and said some weird stuff about the afterlife like you said Bryce I feel like it's very calculated the stuff she's doing um she's also a very scary lady a very scary character those two combined are just scary and we met the people or the other guy Mr. Grainer or whatever and he seems to be the same way as Milchek. I'm really interested to see more and learn, learn more about the other guy that works there. I, I don't remember his name, but not Irving, not Mark. Um, the guy with the glasses. I feel like we've just gotten nothing about him so far. And he, out of all of them, he seems like the most just like accept, accepted of his reality and like what his life is. Like I feel like he... He just does his job, doesn't ask questions, doesn't complain. Like he is, I feel like if they are trying to make like good employees or whatever, he's probably the best one so far in my opinion. Yeah, I just feel like that we haven't learned anything about him. So I'm interested to see like what his character is about. And I feel like his person on the outside specifically will probably be, probably be very interesting. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this episode. If you have been liking the Severance reactions, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We have our Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias, our second channel, and our PO Box. Make sure to check all those out. And with all that being said, we will see you guys next time in Severance Episode 3. Peace out.